Hey city buddies, it's Rain. Come join me in our lesson for today as we explore the Venn diagram. Have you seen an illustration with overlapping circles like this? Are you familiar with the terms set diagram, logic diagram, or primary diagram? These three terms are the other names for this famous illustration that shows the logical relationship between and among a finite collection of sets as well as its cardinality or the number of elements in each set. Before we start solving problems using this diagram, let us give credit to this well-known personality in the name of John Venn. He is an English-British mathematician, a logician, and a philosopher. He introduced this functional illustration, which is used in the fields of computer science, logic, probability, set theory, and statistics. A Venn diagram is an illustration that uses circles to show the relationships among finite group of things. To understand the Venn diagram better, we will have the following examples. Example number one. For their summer vacation, some college students were interviewed. 94 expressed their wish to go to Palawan, 88 to Boracay, and 32 to both destinations. How many college students wish to go to Boracay only? And how many college students wish to go to Palawan only? In order to answer the given questions, let us have this illustration. We will name the circle at the left side to represent the data for Palawan, and the circle at the right side for Boracay. It is stated in the problem that 32 college students want to visit both Palawan and Boracay. So this number should be placed at the center where the two circles overlap, which means that 32 students want to go to both destinations. In order to get the other data for Palawan, we will subtract 32 from 94 to get 62, which is the number of college students who wanted to visit Palawan only. And then we will subtract 32 from 88 to get 56, which is the number of college students who wanted to visit Boracay only. Let us now proceed to example number two. Of the 372 families in Happyville subdivision, 174 prefer to eat adobo for lunch, and 282 like to eat menudo. How many families eat adobo only? How many families eat menudo only? And how many families eat both adobo and menudo? Let us have the diagram. We will name the circle at the left side to represent the data for adobo, and the circle at the right side for menudo. In order to get the data for the number of families that eat menudo only, we will have 372 minus 174, which is equal to 198. Since 282 like to eat menudo, we will subtract 198 from it to get 84, which we will place inside the overlapping circles or the number of families that eat both adobo and menudo. To get the other data, for adobo, we will have 174 minus 84 that resulted in 90, which is the answer for the number of families that eat adobo only. For our last example, let us have example number 3. Out of the 320 junior high school students who were asked on what cell phone brand they prefer to use, 152 preferred Samsung, 160 preferred Apple, 168 preferred Opal, 56 preferred to use Samsung and Apple, 84 preferred to use Opa and Samsung, 72 preferred Opa and Apple, and there were 40 who preferred to use the three brands. How many preferred to use Samsung? How many preferred to use Oppo but not Apple? How many preferred to use Oppo but not Samsung? How many preferred to use Apple and Samsung? How many do not use the brand Samsung? And how many junior high school students use other brands aside from the tree? Again, we will draw the diagram. For this type of problem, we will have three overlapping circles. We will name the circle at the upper left side to represent the data for Samsung, 
the circle at the upper right side for apple, and the circle at the bottom area for opal. It is stated in the problem that 40 junior high school students prefer to use the tree brands for mobile phones. So we will place this number at the center where the tree circles overlap, which means that 40 of them want to use Samsung, Apple, and Opal for cellular phones. Since 72 prefer to use both Oppo and Apple, we will subtract 40 from 72 to get 32. Then 84 minus 40 is equal to 44. And finally, 56 decreased by 40 to get 16. In order to get the lacking data to complete the users of the Oppo brand, we will add 40, 44, and 32, which is equivalent to 116. We will subtract 116 from 168 to get 52. For the Apple mobile phone users, we will add 40, 16, and 32 that resulted to 88. We will subtract 88 from 160 to get 72. To complete the number of cell phone users who preferred Samsung, we will add 16, 40, and 44, which is equivalent to 100. Then we will subtract 100 from 152 to get 52. We are now ready to answer the given questions. How many preferred to use Samsung? We need to add 52, 16, 40, and 44, which is equal to 152. For the second question, how many preferred to use Oppo but not Apple? The answer is 96, because we added 44 and 52. For the third question, how many preferred to use Oppo but not Samsung? We will add 52 and 32 to get 84. For the fourth question, how many preferred to use Apple and Samsung? The correct answer is 56, since we added 16 and 40. To answer the fifth question, how many do not use the brand Samsung? We need to add 72, 32, 52, and 12 to get 168. In order to answer the last question, how many junior high school students use other brand aside from the three, the answer is 12. In order to get this answer, we need to add all the given data in the diagram, namely 52 plus 44 plus 40 plus 16 plus 72 plus 32 plus 52, which is equal to 308. Then we will subtract this number from 320, which is the total number of junior high school students. Activity time! Here's the problem for activity number one. Of the 186 families in Barangay Mapayapa, 87 eat champarada for breakfast, and 141 eat sopas. How many families eat champarada only? How many families eat sopas only? And how many families eat both champarada and sopas? We all know that in order to get the answer, we need to have this illustration. We will name the circle at the left side to represent the data for champarado and the circle at the right side for sopas. We can start our solution by answering first the second question, which is how many families eat sopas only? To get the answer, which is 99, we need to subtract 87 from 186. Now that we have the partial data for the number of families who eat sopas, we will subtract 99 from 141 to get 42, which is the answer in the third question. And lastly, it is stated in the problem that 87 families eat champarada for breakfast. We will subtract 42 from that number to get 45, which is the answer in the first question. Were you able to get the correct answer in activity number one? If yes, you are now ready to answer the last activity which is activity number two. Out of 160 senior high school students who were asked on what laptop brand they prefer to use, 76 preferred Apple, 80 preferred Dell, 84 preferred Lenovo, 28 preferred to use Apple and Dell, 42 preferred to use Lenovo and Apple, 36 preferred Lenovo and Dell, and there were 20 who preferred to use the three brands. How many preferred to use Apple? How many preferred to use Lenovo but not Dell? 
How many preferred to use Lenovo but not Apple? How many preferred to use Apple and Dell? How many do not use the brand Apple? And how many senior high school students use other brands aside from the three? To start answering this problem, we need to draw three overlapping circles. We will name the circle at the upper left side to represent the data for Apple, the circle at the upper right side for Dell, and the circle at the bottom area for Lenovo. It is given as a problem that 20 senior high school students prefer to use the three brands of laptop. So we will place this number at the center where the three circles overlap, which means that 20 of them want to use Apple, Dell, and Lenovo laptop. Since 36 preferred to use both Lenovo and Dell, we will subtract 20 from 36 to get 16. Then 42 minus 20 is equal to 22. And finally, 28 decreased by 20 to get 8. In order to get the lacking data to complete the users of the Lenovo brand, we will add 22, 20, and 16, which is equivalent to 58. We will subtract 58 from 84 to get 26. For the Dell laptop users, we will add 16, 20, and 8 that resulted to 44. We will subtract 44 from 80 to get 36. Complete the number of laptop users who preferred Apple, we will add 22, 20, and 8, which is equivalent to 50. Then we will subtract 50 from 76 to get 26. We are now ready to answer the given questions. For the first question, how many preferred to use Apple? We need to add 26, 8, 20, and 22, which is equal to 76. For the second question, how many preferred to use Lenovo but not Dell? The answer is 48, because we added 22 and 26. For the third question, how many preferred to use Lenovo but not Apple? We will add 16 and 26 to get 42. For the fourth question, how many preferred to use Apple and Dell? The correct answer is 28, since we added 8 and 20. Before answering the fifth question, we need to answer first the last question, which is how many senior high school students use other brands aside from the three. In order to get this answer, we need to add all the given data in the diagram, namely 26 plus 22 plus 20 plus 8 plus 26 plus 16 plus 36, which is equal to 154. Then we will subtract this number from 160, which is the total number of senior high school students. So the answer is six. To answer the fifth question, how many do not use the brand Apple? We need to add 36, 16, 26, and six to get 84. Were you able to get the answers of the two activities correctly? Did you learn something from this video? If yes, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe. That's it for today's lesson. See you soon, study buddies. Bye. If you want to watch more of our videos, click here.